Alright guys, uh, I just had to do a little update because I haven't made one in a little bit um, because uh, this tank is going to be uh, taken down here pretty soon, probably within the next month and a half. So I thought I'd give you uh, a few last looks at it and then also I'll go to the 30 gallon because uh, some stuff's definitely going on in there. Um, so yeah, let me just show you what's going on here. Nothing has really changed. Pick me Cory Cat, there you go. Can't really see him, but he's right there. There he is. I have three of those guys, not sure who the two are. The neon's doing good. Um, the male ram did die. So yeah, I he you know, uh, as I showed you guys before, his face was like burnt, so um we probably just took a little look took a little bit for him to die though, so yeah. Kinda bummed out about that. The female ram's still doing good. They're bullying the violet of Cory cats. Bandit Cory. Dwarf hairgrass. Um, my stuff was kind of dying because the uh, one of the bulbs was out on the fixture. Sorry to get a new one. So I did. Um, yeah. And plants doing really well. Jungle Val. Taking off. Duck. We have to clear some of this out. It's really, really takes over. Water sprite. Going crazy. Wisteria's doing good. It's going. It was kind of dying because the duckweed and the lack of a light was uh, not helping. Um, yeah, but my uh, Rotella is doing really well. So yeah, uh, let me just take you over here. I'm doing a water change right after this. So got the buckets, the siphon, the towel. Um, as you can see, the duckweed has obviously taken over the top of this tank. Yeah, it definitely took over. Um, yeah, there's, whoops, I oh, got my fingers in the way. You can see it's all over the top. And then there's a lot of algae on the little clipping of wisteria I put in here, because it's a new tank, so there's all the nutrients and stuff. The go light's doing well. I'm going to go to my local fish store here, I think Tuesday, because I have the week off. Ugh, finally, week off from school. It's good. Um, yeah, and also, this is doing, eh, it's not really grown, it's not really, so it's like a medium, this, this sword's not doing so hot in here. Jungle Val's melting, but it's coming back, so, yeah. Um, my plans for this tank are just stock it with those fish, and the 20, got my homemade iPod stand, the videos are shaky, I'm just gonna put all the fish in there. And here a little bit, um, and back over here. I am going to uh, when the when this tank gets taken down in about a month and a half, I'm gonna sell off my uh, my fixture because I don't have any room for it, and I'm not gonna be putting this up again probably. But what I will do with the money I get from the fixture, and oh, I'm also gonna be selling this the skimmer again for 75. It's the Hydro Slim skim. So check out the review re review of it if you haven't. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll be selling this one off for like 125. I mean, it goes for 225 right now for four bulb. Uh, got the bulbs already in. LEDs still work. So yeah, you'd be getting 100 off retail. So if you buy it from me, which I would recommend doing, 24 inches. I review of this up too, so you want to check that out. And if I did sell both those things, 125 for this and 75 for the skimmer, um, what I would do with it is I would set up a 7.5 rimless kind of like reef tank, a mini tank. Probably do well, just mostly corals, probably very light bio load. So I would do with it. So yeah. Back on the stand. Yeah, that's what I would do with it. So, that, so if you guys are interested, uh, let me know. Same with the skimmer. If any guys are interested, let me know. Um, yeah. That's it for this video. Please rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe.